Hey everybody, I just wanted to put on a real quick video. Look at that gorgeous tree. I wanted to thank everybody for the wonderful um, birthday wishes that they gave me. And also, um, I went to go have a pedicure today. I hadn't been there in a couple of years. I had done a lot of witnessing at the nail salon. To me, the nail salon, the hair salon, the grocery store, those are primary um, evangelism spots, right? Uh, sort of like the women at the well back, you know, in Jesus' day. Anyway, uh, the person, the reason why I wanted to come on here was, you know, we may know a lot of things. Like, we may know, as Christians, we may know about um, the false prophet and about the Antichrist and things like that. But I don't think that we're supposed to reveal those things to, um, well, you know, you go as you're led by the Spirit. But, so this woman that is doing my pedicure, another captive audience, <laughs> um, she is Catholic. But she's Vietnamese Catholic. There is a difference, you know, just as there are differences between, um, excuse me, about differences in Baptists and differences in Presbyterians. There are differences. She believes in Jesus and she has joy of the Lord and everything. Um, anyway, as I talked to her about the rapture, she was all ears. I talked to her about my dream of being a bride. I talked to her about um, catching an angel on um, doing a selfie with my dog. I showed her the pictures. I sh showed her my YouTube channel with my friend Ferry and I having uh, a glowing. We were glowing and we had lots of angels in that video. Um, little angel orbs, lights uh, flying around inside the car. So, so uh, she was very open to listening. And I, after we talked, um, you know, while she's doing my pedicure, um, I said, are you telling me I've been here, I haven't been here in two years and you have not had anybody come in and talk to you about the rapture before? And she's like, no, this is the first time I've heard about it. So I think it's important to not get into these, um, you know, I did talk to her about the solar eclipse and about uh, God and the Revelation 12 sign and God's signs. And I talked to her about how we had seen um, so many bad things happen after the, um, Eclipse, and she was totally, totally listening to these things. And she said she wanted to check out uh, what I've been teaching. So, uh, I, to, to me, this is another case of when it's important to not, to tailor your message. Like I was able to give her scriptures. Once again, I don't believe that I'm supposed to give her scriptures in a language that she can't understand. In, uh, and I need to tailor the message to be something that's understandable and draws, you know, that the gospel is winsome. The messenger is winsome. So I can't be saying, you're in the Catholic Church. Oh, my goodness. I can't be talking about the Pope and all that. I need to stay focused on Jesus, the positives of Jesus. So then um, the other thing was when I was waiting for my... Um, feet to dry uh, I was watching a video which really I haven't finished it but it really explains a lot to me about what's been going on in my life it's a video about um, how the prophets have to be set apart by from God they have to be set apart to not be in the church in the world I'm gonna put a link into it and see what you think some of us who are called as prophets we're basically messengers uh, we are not pastors. We are messengers. Um, and we're, to, we're given things to deliver the message. And if we don't, their blood is on our hands. It's Ezekiel 2 and 3. It's not Ezekiel 33. Um, we have different jobs in the body. So anyway, I, I'm looking forward to watching. I think this video was put out in 2016. But I'm just now um, coming across it. And it really does make sense with what God's had going on in my life. Uh, maybe it makes sense to what God's had going on in your life, but I do want to encourage you to um, 
get out there and tell people about the rapture. Make it make it a um, a message that is attractive to people. It's a warning, but it's a warning done in love, right? And if you talk about, and, and I'll just tell you, I was able to say, um, to talk about the babies and the children leaving and how they're going to be caught up to heaven to be with Jesus. And then to make the tie in that we know that Jesus loves the children and that that's something that Protestants and Catholics have in common is they're very much against abortion because they love children and they know that God's ch God loves children. So there was no argument involved. There was no um, negativity involved. And then I pray for her that God will uh, open her eyes. But she's, she's definitely on the way and excited. So God bless y'all. Bye-bye.